Good day and welcome to another edition of Outsider Genie, where we will be looking at the range meeting from Fairview and again on the poly. Um, I believe they're going to raise on the poly till in the early next year. I'm not a big fan of the poly, but anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Today, the 21st day of December, the longest day and the shortest night for those people who do not know that. So that gives us a lot of time to consume our consumables and four days away from Christmas. Hopefully today I can give you a, a good a Christmas, Christmas present. Let's before we look at the form and the betting, welcome to Outsider Genie. To those people who are now tuning into this channel for the first time, what Outsider Genie does is we do a form analysis and through our form analysis, we give you outsider selections that you can add into your selections and thereby hoping that you can then collect a bigger dividend. I'll show you just now how good Outsider Genie actually is. Then um, if you want to subscribe to this, but to this channel, just click on the subscribe now button and ring the bell. Uh, we also, you can also find us on, on social media and our contact details is 083 Five eight five five one double three, and now time for the brag file again. Outside of Genie, yesterday at Scottsville, we had a very very good day. We gave you uh, selections in six races. Please note, I never tipped the first race and the second race, as the first race was a work riders event, which I don't know the, those jockeys, and the second event was a maiden juvenile, which I don't give selections on. But I gave you selections from the third race. And I managed to give you the winners from outsider selections who won five of six races. Let's have a look here. Race three, I give you number two, Beckoning Beauty. 10 to 1. But earlier in the day, Beckoning Beauty was at a longer price. Two plus five to one. But again, it was a longer price on the early betting. The same for high velocity at six to one. Three of knowledge, 10 to 1. And then I gave you Native Tongue as my as my outright selection. That also won easily. And then in the last race, I give you number 15, Alice Island, which I'm sure a lot of people were smiling when I gave that selection. That duly ran second, 5 ran 60 to place. We also mean when I gave you the pick six yesterday for a cost of 108 rand. It's paying 581 rand, not 87 rand, but we're not going to fight about six rand. But if number 15, who ran second, won that race, because remember, I always recommend put a field in the last in the last race. That pick six would have paid three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine rand for your hundred and eight rand. So we missed a nice big payout there. But anyway, any win is a win. Doesn't matter what the amount is, as long as you show a profit. Now, very important the announcement during the Cape Summer season, our major rate dates. The preview video for Kenilworth will only be available to members subscribing to our daily analysis service. In order to get the punters a chance to receive the preview video, you can now you subscribe till end of December for 200 Rand. So what do we give you? We give you race by race selections, outright winner and two possible outsider selections. Please know the outright winner can be at any price. I've given you outright winners as big as 33 and 50 to one, that is one. We give you recommended all to come double, sometimes at nice prices, sometimes they win, sometimes they note. But if you get a double at 20 to 1, you can put 50 bucks, you know, or something like that. And, and if it do come in, you collect nice money because that is what Outsider Genie is about. Outsider Genie is, is about finding you the value. We also give you value bets that pays five rand. Can you have just seen now a value bet? Uh, five rands or 10 rands. The other day I gave you a value bet, Tarabaida, that paid 10 rand 20 a place. We also give you best bets of the day. And we don't give you eight to 10, nine to 10. Man, you can find that yourself. But I give you best bets. The other day, uh, the wall, I gave you sweet sensation. I'm going to hop on that because it's still in, in my mind. It was 72, my best bet of the day. It drifted to 11 to 1 at the start. I couldn't believe my eyes. I had a nice few rand on that at 11 to 1. Then also uh, at Fairview, the other day I gave you a, a, a very big thing that drifted to five to one. I, I can, um, um, uh, you know, uh, give you the numbers here as well. You, we got Big City Gold that also uh, um, it was at seven to one. And then also as a distant quartet, we often get the Trafetta and Quartets uh, um, 
you know, and then they get a nice, a nice payout because we do include the outsiders. So if they come in, then normally they, they pay big, as well as a affordable PA and big sixes. Lately, we've catched the PA a few times. They don't pay much, but we just show a profit and that's all that matters. And then as I just showed you now yesterday, our 108 rand pick six paid 587 rand, but it could easily have been, been 4,000 rand. So how do you receive your selections? You receive your selections on uh, a four page like this. We give you your race by race selections, pick six, PA, you get your trifecta and quartet selections, your daily value bets, and you're all to come doubles. So let's now look at the racing and let's start off with Fairview. In the first race, which is a welcome maiden, Fairview, welcome to Fairview maiden plate, over 1,200 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Let us just wait for this thing to spool. Oh yeah, and then I also want to just show you guys now, um, you know, they say you must practice what you preach. So yesterday I did play that 108 rand uh, jack of pick six. I only played that. And here's the payout, 581 rand and seven cents. So you can see, I also practice what I preach. I, or, I, I, will, I, will, I always play my pick six because I have the... Uh, a couple of months ago, I played it for, for it was, I think it was 101 rand, and I collected nine grand. We paid 900,000 rand that day. I had a field in the last leg, and an outsider came in, plus one or two other outsiders. So it's worth your while. I know, you know, it, that's why my pick sixes are not normally higher than 150 rand, and I just keep on playing them. I never miss them. Anyway, here we have number seven, cut glass, 11 to 10, four to one, curious, nine to two, amazing tune, Q, Q Cosas, nine to two, Jackaway, nine to one, 25 to one, Hola Chiquita, and 28 to one, the rest. Now, before I go, what I do is just to keep this video and not too long, uh, I give you my first selection. My first selection is normally the order that I think it will win the race. And then I give you two outsider selections, which you can add into your plate. And, and those outside of selections is in no particular order. So in this first race, my first choice is um, number one, Curious. Now you will notice that Curious did ran um, last Friday, it ran second half length behind Forest of Green. And just another thing, Forest of Green was my best bet of the day yesterday, on Friday. And that was 33 to one, it drifted to four to one, it paid five rand on a toad for a win. Another example of the genius of outsider genie to work. So yeah, yeah my first selection is number Q, uh, curious. Uh, Carl Stradon for his dad is getting minus two and a half. The horse ran on well last Friday, and I'm looking for number one to stand in the number one box after the race. Here, yeah, my second selection is my outside selection number two, amazing tune, Lyle Hewitson. I'm looking forward actually to today, uh, seeing a few matches between Lyle Hewitson and the upcoming Carl Stratum, both young riders. And I think this is the future that you're seeing now here, yeah? the future of, um, of uh, uh, racing the new school. Amazing tune, ran third behind Dai Che over 1400 meters, now back over 1200 meters, but has run before over 1200 meters. And I think in, today's, uh, in this race today, not a strong uh, a, a, a race, uh, so I think number two will run in a, a neat race with Lyle Hewitson on board. Just as, just as something I mentioned here, number three, Bronswee. It's not often that you see this um, AP uh, answer. Um, um, you will not believe what I now just saw. Wow. This number three, the, the damn, that, that horse, Russian artist, belonged to me. I named it because it was um, uh, restless and then there was some Russian something in the pedigree and I named it Russian artist. My goodness, I'm so, I'm flabbergasted. Wow, Brunswick, uh, that was that Russian artist won five races for us. And one day she ran uh, against the uh, Europa Point at the wall, Europa Point beat it. And she was second, this Russian artist. 
uh, was in a maiden plate. And they said after the, the comments uh, for Europa Point beat weak field. So Russian artist came out next time one by five. I can never forget it. Was trained by my good friend Bathy van der Merwe. I, I had my own stables that time at, at um, the Val where I mean I, I had 50 horses there stabled and I had another number of horses on my farms and stuff. The good old, old days, I'm now talking 2008. Wow, it brings back memories. I, I, someone wants to cry. <laughs> Russian artist, my goodness. I was wondering where she landed up. Uh, maybe I should contact those people and just tell them, my goodness. All right, so that's Bronzeway. I'll definitely be watching out for Bronzeway. It's the first um, uh, product I'm seeing of Russian artist. I nearly fell off my chair now. So my other outsider selection is number nine, which is a Qcosis. Now, this is a coup de gras by Al Mufti Me. I really like the breeding of this. Um, and I think them being not a very strong field, that this horse can, you know, can win. I see it's 92 in the betting currently, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's 92. And I think that this horse is going to run a, a forward race. Uh, although I see the stable jockey is not on board. The stable jockey is not riding in this race. Maybe they're throwing this jockey a, a bone. I don't know. So watch out for that. Put it in your things. Wow, I'm still I'm still not over this on uh, uh, this. <laughs> uh, guys, sorry about that. But you know, sometimes when you see things like that, it just jogs your memory and it brings back memory. You can leave com you can leave notes in the comment section if you want to. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to race number two. Let's have a look at the betting number two. Race number two, Super Noir, free, uh, 28 to 10, Royal Land, uh, Royal St Shining, 3 to 1, Cap Capernaum, 3 to 1, 72 Ancient Times, Demote, 5 to 1, Noisy Boy, 16 to 1, 20 to 1, Global Cash, and Black, Black Sage Alley, 66 to 1. So let's have a look here. My selections is number three. Uh, super Noir. Uh, this horse ran well last time out over the 1200 meters, but I think looking at the breeding that is also uh, will go 1600, has gone, gone 1600 meters again uh, before. And again, it's called straight on for his dad. I did say that if you, if you take the double here, race one and two, the straight on and straight on double, it's going to work you out to 18 to one. I'm certainly going to take a chance and put a 50 rand on an all to come. Uh, these two horses in the first race. For Jacques Stradon. I must say, um, I'm surprised Jacques Stradon stable has turned around quite significantly because there was a time, and, and I'm not knocking the trainer or anything, that Jacques Stradon wasn't getting too many winners. But these days, I see it getting winners. And between Carl Stradon and Lyle Hewitt, and normally riding for him, they are bringing them home. So, my first selection here. Yeah. Then, my second selection is number two, Asian Times. Marco van Rensburg. I don't think the horse is that long in a betting. Oh, it's 72, but I do fancy it. I think this horse will also run in a nice race. Um, I've been running there and thereabouts, but again, not a very strong field can place or even win this race. Then number seven, um, Global Cash. This is a global view by Requiem. Long in the, in, in the betting, but I think with the minus four from draw three, this horse didn't run a bad race for me behind Lotus King last time out. Because if you have a look, it ran on 22.9, second fastest to 400 meters, again slow and slow. Uh, so maybe they can get this horse to jump. Um, yeah, I think this horse might win a race soon. Um, again, yeah, it's not, um, uh, uh, there's not a lot of requiem mares going around, but global cash, surely I do like it a little bit today. In a noisy boy, it's a philanthropist by National Emblem. Maybe you want to include that into your into your play as well, a first timer. Number five, Capanium do have a chance. It's also been running well. Uh, Double Canyon was the horse that I mentioned, um, that I said in my preview that um, I, I really much liked, and it was my best bet of the day. And that opened up at seven to two or 33 to 10, and it went out to five to one in a, in a five horse field. So here, Capernaum, um, but that was over 1,200 meters. Now back over the 1,600 meters. Lyle Hewitson on board. Uh, you are definitely in with, with a chance. So all in all, I think the second race, and you also have Royal Shining. Um, 
JP Nell, John Nell, uh, he's also, um, we have a uh, share in a few horses, he's training as well for us. So also a very good trainer. So number four, also surely in with a chance. So definitely the open race, but I'll go for Super Noir because it's, ni it's nicely drawn and also getting the two and a half and that might just do the difference today and watch out for global cash. Then we move down to race number three, a maiden plate over 1,600 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Race number three, uh, number eight, Dancing Girl, 15 to 10, absolutely fab, seven to two, Mary in race nine to two, Chive, 11 to two, leader of the pack, 10 to one, Indus Charm, 14 to one, Star Ruby, 20 to one, 66, and better the rest. So here my first selection is the favorite, Number eight, uh, number eight is a dancing girl. Um, really had a nice first race against Abia behind Abia 24.3, lost lengths, ran on well 24.3. And I think this horse can improve, but she needs to jump. That is the big thing because if you lose at the start, you're a goner. Then my outside of selections is number three, which is the leader of the pack. Um, um, leader of the pack has shown some nice runs before over the 69 meters, but last time, I don't know, just yet, raised his last few links. So he didn't jump well, but I'm sure Chase Majan today will be awake to this one. And if we can repeat that run behind Run Forest Run, uh, Flores Run, certainly in with a, a, a chance, leader of the pack, Captain L by a Ford, Captain of All by a Ford would meet very nicely bred. In my other outsider selection is number four which is Star Ruby, um, it is um, also uh, Alan Gere inmate, has had three runs and two of them didn't, wasn't too bad last time out, was a bit far behind Reef Not, but Reef Not that day, he won easily, but I think Star Ruby also in with a chance. Then another horse that you also want to not leave out is, um, absolutely fair. This horse was second um, uh, on Friday, uh, behind um, Mesmerizing Moon, 1.25. And it was flying up from behind. Uh, today, getting a minus two and a half again, straight on for his dad. And definitely number five, absolutely flat, not without a prayer. Yeah, this is a very open first race of the pick six. Um, I've gone wide in this race. Um, number five, in this charm, is also start showing forms to getting in, you know, uh, in, informed here and five four links behind Princess of Fire, which has won again, and then last time out 3.7 behind Arc on Express. So, also, definitely, was that you might in, want to include if you go wide, definitely in with a small chance. So, all in all, race three definitely uh, 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 open race, few horses with chances. Then we go right to race four, which is a Freeze and Mares 88 divided handicap. Class C average merit rate at 82. Let's have a look here at the betting. Here we have number two, Wallace Simpson, five to two, Nippy Sweetie, three to one, Purist Bliss, nine to two, Cloud Atlas, five to, five to one, Tony Jet, 11 to two, Miss Orange, eight to one, and 14 to one, Duchess of State. Another very open race in my mind where my first selection is number three, Tony Jet. Now, Tony Jet um, is just running, you know, he. Um, he really runs good races. Now he's finding himself in this race in a C82, but ran before in a B89, ran sailing ship just before that, travel in style, but won on a, a, a C Division 81, beating Sao Paulo. And I think Tony J today, this uh, go deputy fully by a jet master me, is going to run a huge race again today over this distance. My other outsider selection is number six. Um, which is Cloud Atlas. Cloud Atlas is also a horse that's always there and thereabouts, fourth, second, fifth, third, second, goes to the front and always gets run out of it. But I think Cloud Atlas can today maybe run a huge race in this over the 1600 meters. Um, has been placed before, and Michael Van Rensburg on board for Gavin Smith. They are on a nice combination, getting the winners, and Cloud Atlas is a nice outsider. But there are other horses of chances in this race. Nippy Sweetie won um, five races in the known and last time lost against Tony Jet. And uh, there are maybe 58 and a half um, on the same um, 
weight difference again, just a half kilogram in difference. But um, I think, uh, uh, I don't know what happened, but I'm sure Nabish Witty today is going to run a better race. So look out for that one. Furious Bliss also runs good races for Sharon Cotson and also a horse that is always in with a chance. Also here we have Wallace Simpson, although this is a horse, the kind of horse that you never know which Wallace Simpson is going to pitch up. One day she runs a good race and then she runs bad races. Uh, but yeah, all in all, has got a good record here and uh, has also been beaten by Tony Jet, but very close to Tony Jet. So it's going to be a close finish, I think, between horses two three, four, and six today, and also five. Yeah, it's going to be a very close finish, also open the race. So let's move on to race number five, which is a merit rated 84 handicap over 1,600 meters, class C, average merit rating 80. Here we have the betting as follows. Let's Blaze 17 to 10, North Ocupan 18 to 10, Duke of Cards 33 to 10, Bob Scott 10 to 1, 12 to 1, and longer the rest. Scratch number five. And here my selection is number one, Duke of Chalk Cards. If you have a look here, this is a class C, merit rated 80. So the average merit rate is in this race is 80. Now, if you have a look here, this horse ran in a 84, 86. Here it ran against a 93 Earth Hour. Earth Hour nearly beat Mamara C the other day. There she ran behind Mamara C. You put Mamara C in this race. Mamara C will probably win by six lengths. And this horse is 1.5 behind Mamara C. And I think if Duke of uh, Gods, and again, yeah, behind Rock and Love, if Duke of Gods, uh, uh, Gods can reproduce that run behind um, Mamara C or even Earth Hour, she'll be, he'll be hard to beat in this field. So my first selection, number one, Duke of Gods. Then outside of selection is number four, uh, Bob Scar, Box Scar, uh, also getting the minus two and a half. Again, uh, Carl for his dad. Um, but this four, this horse, the form isn't that strong, but I like because, that because of the minus two and a half. Um, can probably place, I'm not sure if this horse can win this race, but maybe a, a horse that you want to include in your, in your quartet selections. Uh, then I, saw, uh, I mean, as you can think for yourself, number two, Norfolk Pine, um, definitely in with a chance, won its last race, not without the chance, uh, Bolt Air, um, also, this was um, one uh, a nice maid in uh, a novice, and then I thought it's going to go on, that was last year, or that was February, but unfortunately, this horse has gone off a bit, and I'm looking at for it to, you know, run an improved race, because I'm sure this horse has much more ability than his form shows. And I also want to go down to number seven, Let's Blaze. Let's Blaze surely also not without a chance. Lyle Hewitson for Jutman West Asian, 56 and a half, has run some nice races behind Wallace Simpson, Norfolk Point, and before that beat uh, Chainsaw. So number seven, Let's Blaze, definitely in with a huge chance in this race. So let's move on to race number six, which is a Phillies Amir 71, the divided handicap class D, average merit rate at 66. Here we have number four, Fireworks 13 to 10, La Duchesse 4 to 1, 5 to 1, Bridesmaid Blues, Sao Paulo 7 to 1, Alaskan Fate 7 to 1, Beyond Temptation 14 to 1, and Better 14 to 1, Viva La Blue, Blue Gangs at 25 and 33, I to one ice, ice, ice free. Just for the record, I just wanted to tell you now that number four, Fireworks, is a half sister to a horse that won on Saturday called Phoenix, a first time and that beat that horse of the cock in limbo. But also, you remember on Saturday, if you listen to my preview, I said to you there were four horses in that race, all bred by Volker Bos and Moritz Fontaine. And those four, uh, three of those horses filled the three places. Unfortunately, in Limbo was second. And being that the one number, that the horse that won three was a first time qualified for the pick six. And then it got demoted on our objection to third place, placing number nine, second, only Miss Goli of Miss Holy Goli 
for something like that. And there goes my pick six. I missed it just by that for Saturday's pick six at Turfontein. But I didn't pay much anyway, so it was not a big loss. But again, that Phoenix was, um, uh, I think it's an ideal world by all a fire. Definitely a horse that you need to watch because that horse came from way behind. Just maybe a, a horse for the blue book. So here we have the half sister running, but my choice in this race is um, number one beyond intention at 14 to one. Um, now, if you have a look here, we have running a D division, meditated at 66. Now this horse ran um, a 72s behind Princess Khalifa. Princess Khalifa, a very good horse has won quite a number. A 74, Miss Orange. Um, purest bliss, purest race is running in a higher division here. The, this, this horse was the ambit of the star check and ignore that. Tony Jett, Mary Lee, Wallace Simpson, all, um, you know, uh, in higher divisions than she's running against today beyond temptation. And I'm looking for this horse to cause an upset today. Then um, my other outsider selections is number five, which is Alaskan Fate. Alaskan Fate two runs ago ran an improved race. Last time out under lengths to be on Taya Ghoul, Taya Ghoul running again. But I think the 69 meters might be a distance that the Alaskan Fate might be looking for, um, although it has run this distance twice but didn't perform. But the way it's running to, uh, lately, I think, um, yeah, it, maybe the systems will suit because I know this, I did to rat me. It's a long distance me by Western winter. So maybe they're giving this horse another chance over 1600 meters. Then um, my other outsider selection is number seven, which is Bridemaid's Blue. Uh, yeah, Bridemaid's Blue always there and thereabouts, running third, four, three lengths behind. And look for artists on broad from a good draw can also probably be involved in the finish. But also another open race. Other horses of chances, Viva La Blue has also been running well lately and always you know, comes to run on too late, but always runs on well. And that is always dangerous if a horse runs on well because if they can place it nicely, like you said, it doesn't come from way behind and it can be a danger, Viva La Blue. Um, fireworks, as I said, also in with a chance that one it's maiden last time, but again, um, yeah, it's not as I mean, it's not that strong field today, so it can go in again. Um, Blue Gangster currently a little bit of form, so let's move on to race number seven. Race number seven is a um, mirror rated 68 handicap, class E average mirror rated 61, with the betting is as follows. Number five, Imperius Duke, seven to two, Judas, four to one, Caesar Rockstar, nine to two, six to one, Princess of Fire, Gailun, seven to one, 14 to one, eight foot six, Ryan Price, 14 to one, Moonlight Stranger, 16 to one, and Edio Furin, 16 to one, 22 to, 20 to one, Miss Trumps, and 25 to one, and longer the rest. So here my first selection is number one, Jurist. We are now in a class E average meter rated 66. Now Jurist has run um, in this class three runs back and he duly won and then ran in a 72 last time behind Jack and Moon. And yeah, Jack and Moon, I think is a future champion. So it wasn't this great. And I'm looking for number one, Jurist again, to run a use race today. Outside of selections is number six which is eight for six. Now this horse um, comes from Joburg. And I know this used to be with Michael the Cock before, but um, I know for a fact this horse has run some nice races, uh, one or two nice races at in Gauteng. And maybe today at the Poly, uh, this will be a horse that, you know, that might like it. And uh, I see Sharon has given it a nice time, 172 days. It's currently in the betting 14 to one. And surely you need to put this in all of your uh, play because this horse is nicely bred as well. As you can see, they paid 1.8 million for this horse. Now you don't pay 1.8 million for a horse that doesn't look like a race horse. So I think it's well confirmed. So eight for six, don't be surprised to find this horse 
in the number one box after the race. And then also I like the look of number seven, Princess of Fire. The last time it won, I recommended it that it's going to run a huge race. And I think, but the only problem today is it's drawn 14. It's going to be extremely difficult winning from that draw today on this distance. Here's the favorite Imperius Duke, Duke of Marmalade, Imperius Star, nicely bred. Um, that one um, beating Global Canyon last time out over 2,200 meters. Um, again, going to 2-2 two, two today. And uh, yeah, I think um, he probably can go in again, but um, of course it won convincingly, but it, I remember that day that wasn't a very strong field. Already Global Canyon has came out after that and won. So um, definitely, I think for number five, he appears to in with a chance, but uh, I see the betting here in Imperius Duke, seven to two. Yeah, there are many horses of chances in this race, so a very open race. This um, um, one was station also having two and the runners in this race, both of them in with a chance, so a very open race. So let's move on to race number eight, which is the last race on the card, and let's have a look at the betting. Here we have Talia Al Gol, 33 to 10, God of Thunder, 4 to 1, 40 days, 5 to 1, Lookout Dow, 6 to 1, Sherwood Forest, 10 to 1, Dairy, 12 to 1, Escalation, 14 to 1, Out of the Order, 16 to 1, Winter of Vacation, 60 to 1, 25 to 1, and longer the rest. Now, here my first selection is number 5. Tal Al Gul, uh, Talia Al Gul, Talia Al Gul. We need to add its first run here on the poly. I did recommend it that day. Um, it was back in from about 10 to 1 to 6 to 1. And now here we have Carl Strain on for his granddad. He has ridden a few races for his granddad, but has not rate, wrote a winner for him yet. And I'm sure he's keen to do that. And today can be the day because this was, was last time ran second to Joyful Noise, which is also a huge, a huge uh, runner back in from 10 to 1 to 21 to 4 and i think that i'll go today from pro 8 to run a huge race my outsider selections number seven look out house i think this is also a nice horse it's going to win a few races in its time and a little run in behind magic Sailor last time out and magic Sailor has come out to one again and i'm looking for the look out house today to run a much better race than last time and also my other outsider selection is number 12, the Carpenter. This is a seven-year-old, but this horse pops up now and then. So don't be surprised. Um, you know, it's carrying a lightweight, but draw an 11. But this trainer, Kat Katniss, is well known for his outsider selections. This horse has won um, six times already. Course and distance, 10 rounds, two wins, three thirds. So, um, and three rounds ago, did run nicely over this 1,200 meters. And it's not always, not too far behind where you can see a surprise at 6061 in October 20, beating Pasadena Santico. So definitely the carpenter was that can surprise. So I, I hope I've pointed you in the right direction and given you some nice uh, winners today. And as I always say, break a league.